This recording is for entertainment purposes only. Welcome. I hope you're comfortable. I hope you came prepared because this is different. Different than a regular trance. Even if you feel like it's a regular one. Something is about to happen. So I suggest you get a glass of water and a token. Like a necklace or just some peaceful item that is special to you because you are about to embark on a journey where you may need these items and these items may come at just the right time to give you just what you need to find so we will pause now for you to collect those two items and when you return set yourself up like this no disturbances Best if the room can be dark and the only light comes from the screen. Best if you are seated somewhere that's comfortable. It could be sitting or lying. Standing probably isn't the best because it'll take a bit of time for you to go on this adventure. And you want to make sure that your feet and your legs are not crossed. They are flat on the floor or just resting beside each other. Same with your hands. Keep them apart. So as you assume this position, I also want you to find an inner strength. And of course you can find it. I'm not saying the strongest strength in the world. I'm saying a place inside of you where you are drawn towards it, since that is where inner strength seems to be. You might have heard stories of a woman lifting a car off of their baby. Are those stories true? They are. I looked them up. In the Guinness Book of World Records, there is a man that can balance cars on top of his head. There's a grandmother who is 74, found her superpower when she was 10 years old. She can bend metal with her bare hands. What does this mean? Why do we care? This means it's possible. It's possible for superpowers examples in the world of super things so why not you and it's enough to just like that thought to go on this journey because hypnosis is fun and you can have fun too when we have this ability to talk to our bodies that actually generates lasting change you can learn to play with this hypnosis you're invited. This is your superhero adventure. You've been waiting for this, even if you didn't realize it. Get ready for this. Set yourself up exactly like I described. And get ready for this to happen now. Turn on an urgent sense of excitement within you. And you also need to decide one thing. Because at several points... You're going to hear me say, adventure. And when that happens, you are going to set an anchor. Anchors in hypnosis are like Pavlov with the dog. Ring, 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 ring. Here's some food, dog. Ring, 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 ring. The dog salivates. Ring, 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 ring. The dog salivates. Ring, 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 ring. Here's some food, dog. I've done my own anchoring by putting my thumb, index, and middle finger together for meditation. Every time I do this, I would go into a meditative state where I would put those fingers together and quickly developing an anchor. Your anchor will be your body assuming a position that will create a positive feedback loop in your endocrine system. Since this is for superheroes, you're going to be taking a superhero pose. What is it going to be? Is it going to be Wonder Woman, Superman? What do you think? The universal thing that people do when they win a race or a contest is they put their arms up in victory. So if we link your superhero pose with every time I say adventure, you'll have a fantastic anchor. Across the world, when somebody wins a race across all cultures, victory they throw their arms up, head back, 
victorious. Bam! So if we link every time I say adventure, you set your superhero pose, it'll be great. So pick it now. Okay, it's chosen. And that's the one you'll do no matter what it is with intention. You can just know that this superhuman ability is possible. And any sounds you hear will just amplify your trance and your access to your superhuman ability. The journey has already begun before you began and before you realize that this journey has even started. Now I want you to make sure you maintain your body's position, comfort, and safety. And if at any time during this you need to attend to something, you can and you can do so easily. So we will be journeying together, going deep, deep inside your bodies, of your minds in the unconscious collective that's within you, that's within all of you, that's within all of us, that's so deeply rooted. You can maintain your position easily and attend to anything you need to. This induction that we're about to start will guide you to the beginning area that already began. Let's start this journey together. Now take a deep breath. Hold it for three, two, one. Let it go. Okay, we're going to do that again. Breathe in and hold three, two, one. Let it go. Feel your breathing taking you deeper. And on the next breath, I want you to close your eyes on the exhale. When they close, I want you to get a sense of excitement that this is going to do something inside of you. You can actually edit, turn things on stronger, brighter. You have a superhero inside of you. We all do. And on this adventure, you will find it. So now, take that breath in, and on the exhale, close your eyes. Now allow that tense sense, budding excitement, to ignite. Because you are about to journey together with me, and my voice will go with you. We all have a past. As you think of that past, you can think of the present as a gift, like you are. You're with me now, listening to my voice, wandering on the insides of wondering, and exploring the possibilities of what is, and what can be, and what will be. This is fun for all of us, and in different ways we are always available, and avenues on the streets, in our minds, like the trees, out in our yard in the world. You can care about yourself because you are a gift. And as you begin to drift deeper, deeper and deeper, like a parachute floating down in the air, it slowly floats down. You can float down too with buoyancy because you are light in the darkness. And you find this light in the darkness like all things yin and yang and dark balance everything has sides how do you create that balance within everything because everything has a balance like a coin flip a coin heads or tails have you ever stopped to consider you can only see the heads or the tails because of the surface they are printed on and we meet together right now on the coin of your imaginations. And the surfaces are imprinted by all of us and the coin can spin. Spin the coin, glow, and it's wonderful, magical spin.
will bring you down, bring you across, and bring you up on this entrancing journey. I want you to take a deep breath, and as you do, flex your hands into fists. Go ahead and feel your hands becoming full of energy as you ball them into fists. Release. Do this again. Flex them harder, harder, harder. And now release. Okay, one last time. Breathe in, flex harder, harder, harder. Release. Now all the tension in your hands has turned into energy and you can feel the energy moving in your hands. This is real movement on a cellular level within you. You are an electrical being. On your next breath, you can feel the saturation of your lungs being filled with oxygen. And this time, all of your cells distribute the oxygen to different parts of your body, filling you with a sense of superhuman strength, invigorated, clear. Everything feels stronger expanding inside of you, you're touching the edge, the edge of the super you that always has been inside of you and has always been accessible. I want you to breathe in with that focus, that feeling, that super you, that warmth fills your body with eager anticipation. And when you feel it, nod your head. I don't care that I can't see you, nod your head. It makes it work better. And you can nod your head and you can drop into a trance because this causes your story to begin. And you begin to see your story. As we begin to truly journey to a place with tall buildings that make you feel very small. The buildings are taller than any buildings have a right to be. You can see why they may be called skyscrapers because they seem to scrape the sky and you wonder how the sky feels about that. And you breathe in the smell of the sun beating down on the concrete on a hot day. That smell that you know cooking the concrete. Then suddenly a light streaks across the sky. You watch it, not sure what the light is or where it's going. Until suddenly it stops and it cuts a shock wave that reverberates through your entire being. Your eyes, although wa closed, widen instantly. You put your arms up to protect yourself from the electrical fire that has begun to actually etch into your skin. It's almost like your eyes can see inside your body and your skin feels like it has the pattern of lightning bolts traced into the skin. Where once there was skin, you can begin to be able to taste something. The taste of electricity burning into your flesh. Dark, hard, inner screams tear at your heart, tear at your psyche. A moment begins to happen. You feel the electrical smoldering within you, connecting with an unexpected strength and confidence that you were able to connect with before breathing in the oxygen. So how the oxygen combined with this fire. Adventure! You are stronger now. Locate the strength within you, wherever it is, wherever you think it might be. Imagine it. Even if you pick a place on you, Imagine there's a dial on it and turn it up, allowing you to unlock your path and access the superhero in you. 
The light falls to the ground 100 feet away from you. It emanates destructive energy, decimating everything within the range of the blast. You can see it all desolate and destroyed somehow. You are standing right at the edge of the crater. Surprise fills you, immediately replaced by the energizing fact that you are now more than you ever were. You can feel that growing strength within you when you turn the dial up and adventure, adventure, stretch out your arms, raise your body high, hold this inner strength, feel it course through your entire body, feel the electricity and strength flowing through you, this superhuman you, this, this super you, release now. You feel an overwhelming urge to investigate the center of the crater. With these new abilities, you jump off the edge of the crater, feeling such a flow of energy that you tap into the flow going through you, flowing through your heart, almost as if you are plugged into the sun. And on the other side, you are plugged into the earth and the circuit flows. As it flows through you, it just feels right. This is a sensation you've heard about in movies, you've read about in books. The sensation you never knew was in you or a part of you. You can tell that things are heightened and you arrive at the center of the crater so quickly it is mentally shocking to you but only to be replaced by the dark sensation you can feel emanating from what looks like a black, wait no clear, black again, nearly formless body. Smoke begins to coil around this person, this thing. You quickly blink. You start taking in quick, erratic breaths not understanding what's happening. It feels like your body is preparing for something. That something, bang! Smoke blows outwards, pushing you out and surrounding you. There's so much you try not to breathe in any of it, but it's coming in so quickly you <coughs> choke a little from it. Tiny gasps between let in more of the smoke. The black sensation fills you. It fills your senses. Now all you can think, all you can see is darkness. You cough a little and you realize you must be the light in this. Adventure! You think no, and you assume your superhero pose. Do it now. Lift yourself high. No, it can be this way. There's more to this. You remember the electricity, how it touched you, how it burned you. Feeling that knowing, that belief. Grab that feeling. Raise your arms up triumphantly screaming, I am more than this. I am more than I ever was. Light streams out of your body. Adventure! Hold this pose for three, two, one. Release. The massive surge of energy stops pouring out of you. You say to yourself, this is me. This is mine. I am connected. Looking at the center of the crater, you see the black thing standing, consistently switching from painful black essence to a clear nothing. You felt that thing is both literally and emotionally, and there's no going back. Stretching out your hands, middle finger and thumb, you snap. 
you snap again and again and again. You can feel the kinetic energy building up in your hand. It flows up your arm, spreading over your entire body. This belongs to you now, and you use it to move as quickly as possible. You see the black thing, wait, clear, in the center begin to move. Your movement is so quick that you crack a little smile, a bit of a smile that is encouraging. While quickly encountering the black mass at the center of the crater, your arm almost automatically raises, but your hand pulls in towards your chest, turning this into an elbow smash to its face. Your elbow sparks right after hitting its face. The being turns clear at every attack thereafter, and your movement goes straight through it. You jump back quickly, and the sparks start shooting from your elbow. It feels infinitely strange. Adventure! The crackling electricity continues to spark out, but it shoots out with purpose connecting to different points on your body. It connects to your elbow, and then to your head, and then to your back. These lines of connecting energy have streamed together. And as they do, you see the being standing at the center of the crater, and his hands begin to move around as if it was controlling the electricity. The being opens its hands wide and claps them together, interlacing its fingers. Doing it causes a sudden arc that pulls you into a contorted backbend. The pain instantly makes you black out. Adventure! This is your adventure. That's right. No one can control you. There's no puppeteer. You are your own puppeteer. You are the designer of your plan. Your unconsciousness knows specifically what needs to happen now. And you know the power is specifically for you. What happens now, this power is going to arc through you as if they were whispers on the wind, footsteps in the air. You can hear the voice of someone. It sounds like it's coming from an incoming storm. The storm, the storm mother speaks in the language of lightning. And as the lightning bolts crack from the sky, the hairs on your head stand up like a childhood experiment, rubbing a balloon on your hair. And you can understand and hear what she's saying. She's saying something. It sounds like the states. But not the states of location. Or the states of matter. And something in you matters. She's talking about the states of matter like solids. Gases. Superheated gas. The stuff of stars. Because you are a star, a superhero. And with this heating, with this knowing that comes from her, and it is fused with you, with a superheated plasma gas that is now imbuing you with superhuman strength. Adventure! Assume your strength, assume your pose. Be the hero that you know you are. That's right. As you feel this coursing through you, you can release and you can see something you didn't expect. Flying through the sky like a Chinese dragon with no wings but made of lightning, it lands right on the ground next to you. And it's clear that you're invited to get on. So you do. You throw your leg over and you assume the riding position. And strangely enough, you feel like you can use lightning to lash yourself to this mythical creature. 
and you assimilate all of her wise knowledge. And you know that things are looking up now. Because you can see what things look like from up above. And when you're looking down on the crater in the buildings, something is clear. Clear down there you hadn't noticed before. Everything is charred. But what's sparkling underneath? What is that you really want to find out? But you're not sure if now is the right time, or if it's for later, or if it's even for you at all. You can see this storm is close to a group of people you automatically re remember what you learned about lightning safety, and they're up way too high, and you want to keep them safe and wonder, can I do it? What if I get hurt? What if I die? You're closer to the clouds than the group of people, and you make a decision, and you make the decision to save them. You fly directly over there, and you hold one arm up towards the clouds, and the other towards the center of the crater. Lightning channels down towards you, through you, through your body, in your fingers, down your arm, through your torso, out your other arm, out of your hand. It feels like a warm blanket. You are a superconductor, and the people are safe, and as soon as you save them, they all become happy. As if you populated a life of happiness for them. Suddenly houses appear with windows that you can see through. Happy families dining together. Fireplaces lit with fire, laughter. Lovers, old, young, reading a book. A kid rolling on a blanket. A dog laying on its master's feet. A grandfather rocking in a chair. How did this occur? Was this because of you? You did take a risk. They're safe now. Continuing to fly around, you round your way back to the crater. As you do, the creature riding begins to lose its form. It begins to crackle. And as it crackles, you can feel it falling to pieces. She looks at you. You look at her. Although you're not seeing, you're just knowing. And you know that she only has energy left to do one thing. Because the energy of the storm has faded and she says, be brave. This will be scary, but be brave. On the other side, all is well. You are a hero. Walk down these electrical stairs that she has formed for you and allow each step to empower you. To be brave, to be ready. You're at the top of the steps, 10 steps in front of you, 10 steps down. With each step, it brings you closer to the center of the crater. And it's clear clear to you that you have only one path to embark on, down, deeper, feet crackling beneath you, nine, deeper into the crater, into the void, feeling eight, everything inside of you shifting down, seven, that sense of calm that comes and you know 
Something is about to happen with six. Nearly halfway there. Time seems to stand still. Has it been a minute? Five. No turning back now. The only path is down. For you can see it now moving towards you. Three, close to making contact, settling strength within, almost as if you knew what you would have used to have been. Two, one more step to make and you'll be face to face with this thing. You're unsure what will happen, but you know that you're ready for it. It's time it's time for the stairs to dissipate. One. One. You step down. Stepping down to the deepest, darkest parts of the crater. Down to the bottom. With complete bravery and certainty that this is right. Because right now, you have the strength you didn't realize you have the strength you didn't realize but you reach into your pocket you reach into that location where you have your token that you got at the beginning and you grab it it has been loaded with stormlight and you know just what to do as you place it directly into the center of that being suddenly From it, a black smog explodes out and into the sky. It gets all over you. It immediately disintegrates as it gets onto everything. It takes a minute or hours. And what is left but a little girl hurled in a ball, huddled crying adventure assume your pose you're a hero now close to the girl you make eye contact with her and she looks like a girl that you've seen before and her eyes look like that storm that part of you that you know you know that things are okay now She says something to you, and you can't quite understand what she says. She says something about she's so tired of holding. Holding on to all of it. You tell her it's okay now. You pick her up, and the second you do, it's just like the people up on the hill. You see her become happy. A happy ending. Unexpectedly, it feels like there's nothing else to see. Until you turn and see someone strong, helping others, healing others, always at the right place, at the right time. And you want to meet them. So you move towards them. Then suddenly they look at you and your eyes lock and you see something. Something familiar. They look like your eyes. Because they are your eyes. Because it's you. And there's a glass in their hand. And you see them holding on to that glass. With great smiles in their face. The glass is filled with pure storm light. And you know that all you need to do now is reach out with your physical arms. I don't care what position you're in. Do this part. Reach out and pull that new, that glass, all of it. Drink it. Drink it in. Drink it deeply. Pull the new you in with it. Pull this new superhero in the brave heroic 
you. If you ask what if I am a hero, and you know it is now, yes. Yes, I am a hero. Adventure! Breathe in the change now. Three deep breaths of integration. Breathing in the change. Breathe in two. And breathe in more. You can hear the voice of the Storm Mother saying, an elixir has been left. And this elixir that was left is the water that you drink. Feel it, feel it, feel that metaphysical water filling you, being a part of you. You will feel it fill every cell of your body because you are now and always will be a superhero. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. If you've enjoyed this journey, you can go on it at any time if you like, because you're already on it. Right. Wide awake now.